Hello everybody, Crippling Depression here. Um, certainly not ripping off anyone else's intro here. This is a gas mask that I've owned since fucking November and I've never reviewed it for some reason. I don't know how I skimmed over it, probably because it's shit. So you might know what this is. Oh, it moves me cloth about. It's a little bit of a step up and a step down from the GP5. This is the GP7. Uh, this is not the GP7V, it does not have a voice diaphragm. Um, no, it does have a voice diaphragm, what am I saying? Um, what was I going to say? It doesn't have a drinking tube. No drinking tube. I'm stupid, it's because it wraps around the voice diaphragm. Uh, GP7K filter, I don't know what the K means. Uh, people say, oh, but they're later, so there's no way they contain asbestos. They probably fucking do. If it's dark green and made in Soviet Russia, just don't touch it. So this is a very interesting mask. Uh, you may remember this mask from My Bloody Valentine, the 3D remake with that fuckboy from Supernatural. What's interesting is that the front cover of that movie, they were wearing Mark V GSRs from World War Two. You can check out our review for that too. This is... As a gas mask, it works. In general, it's shit. I love it aesthetically. Like, in terms of looks, it is a uh, very nice gas mask. You've got your round lenses, of course, for some reason. There's a spring that runs all the way around in there, if you can see it. Don't know if you can. 40mm uh, threading. And five-point head harness. Bear in mind, uh, this is probably the most painful um, head harness I've ever had the misfortune of using. It smells very satisfyingly old. This is a size 3, they do not go up to size 4. Made in 1955, I forget what symbol that means, which would be where it was there. Uh... Wait, did I just say it was made in 1955? I'm fucking dumb. 1989, so it's 55 on there, and I forget what that symbol means, but different symbols means where it was made. Uh, I believe this is zinc metal. That's pretty cool. Um, as you can tell, I've gone into this very half cocked. It's because I know fucking. I've had this mask for ages and then I've not re reviewed it. It's just that I'm not interested. You're in a face seal, you do not wear this. Um, I've seen people attempting to try and wear the mask with these on, which is always funny. It's sharp and it hurts. Don't do it. Head strap there says 1975, but then says 89 on there, which matches the uh, date on there. In fact, it has three dots. Um, I forget what three dots means. You'd think it's March, but I'm pretty sure that's not. Numbered notches for the head straps. Like I said, this is the most painful head strap system I've ever had the misfortune of using. Uh, your breath deflector screws around and then comes out. The washer can fall out too. And if you lose that, uh, yeah, good luck, because then it will twist too far past the mark. You can, in theory, undo these and swap the ports around, but the ring will always be bigger. Um, so, I don't know, I suppose you could use a hose clamp, but good luck ever getting one of these back on. What I had to do is I had to hold it in place and have pliers, and I had to yank them over. And it took me about an hour, maybe two, to actually get it reassembled once I took it apart. For what I did take apart. I swapped some of the ports and valves around, that was it, and that took fucking ages. It's got an inner face seal, um, you can kind of see it looks really tight on there, but bear in mind, can you see it in there? Barely, because it will stretch around your face. Weapons and stuff, 93, complains that they get into his eyes. That's just because he's got a, you know interesting head shape. I have never had these even remotely close to my peripheral vision. So, it, it's subjective. These do have weird quality control issues, like for example his actually air gets in I believe. People have reported different issues with them, they all vary. Sometimes valves aren't on properly, sometimes the rubber's sticking out. Bear in mind this was towards the end of communism, and I don't think they were doing too good. <laughs> or rather towards the end of uh, the Soviet Union, sorry, communism is in gone. So with its own filter, again, don't use this, you fucking schmucks, there's a, there's a rubber cap in there, it usually comes out, it doesn't today. Yeah, screws in and fits, you know, nothing special there. For the record, I did actually open the bottom end of mine once and basically, 
kind of beige powder fell out. So mine is mine is really deteriorated. Like mine is just fucking sand now. Like it's no good. And if it is asbestos, I'm not opening it twice. What's interesting though is that the Chinese normalised. I did get a comment saying there's no such thing as normalised, and I know that's the fucking point. Everyone's saying they're normalised, but it's because we don't really know what threading it is, because it just seems to be a whatever the fuck works. This fits it, which is interesting, because then of course I can fit my ABEC filter to it. But if I try to screw my ABEC filter in, it grinds along, and um, I literally get fucking aluminium shavings at the end of it. I hear my neighbour moving about. Well, it's not my neighbour, they're working on the house. Um, as we established in the last one, this filter does not fit in there. Does this fit in here? Yeah, no. That's going to grind. It will not fit a S10 filter. That doesn't work either, so honestly, the only way I could get a filter that would actually fit this. Uh, I haven't tried, um, what are they called? C something something 3. Um, the French, uh, the French AMP-VPF1 filters. I haven't tried one of those. I suppose I could. Storage box is right there. So I had to move out of the way for the cameras. I say cameras, if there's plural. Filter screws in there. Okay, interesting. It does fit one of these, uh, they're listed on fucking eBay as MP5 filters. Here's a problem, can you see that? Yeah, that, that, that happens. <laughs> Um, while I said it's the most painful thing to wear ever, what I do is I just yank the fucking head strap away from me. Don't worry about damaging one of these too badly. It's not like they're going to be missed. I get that you shouldn't damage any on purpose, but if it does break, don't worry about it. Ah, and there we go. That's how the voice diagram sounds. It's actually quite an amplifier. Oh, fuck. Couldn't breathe. <laughs> It's not quite. It's not quite airtight. But yeah, you can hear the voice diaphragm. It's actually quite a fucking amplifier. It's very good in terms of voice diaphragm. Yeah. So it's not the way I put the valves back. It is the threading. Right. I usually after wearing one of these, I usually have to pull all the pulled out hairs. Uh, condensation builds in this thing like a bastard and will start dripping out of this after prolonged wear. And you may notice nothing anti-fogging, which is why I say it's not necessarily better than the GP5. Like in terms of anti-gas protection, I'd actually probably want a GP5. Anti-gas protection? That's not how that works. Anyway, yeah, I would rather have a GP5, because the GP5 at least has Tissot tubes. This has nothing. If it could take, you know, if you could adapt it to take a PMK2 uh, like oral nasal cup, I believe they have oral nasal cups. I don't know. I don't own one. Uh, maybe it would be a good mask. As it stands, it's... You know, it, it, it's a commie piece of shit. Even for prolonged storage, you want that face piece, because it will deform. And it will deform very easily. Make sure it's inside the peripheral seal there. It's made of a quite nice, soft rubber, but that's the thing, it's too soft. So it's floppy. 
This is a very floppy mask with a very painful head strap system. I feel like I've lost hair and uh, finicky parts to it that don't always work the way they fucking should. So yeah, this is a mask I've had for a, for a while now. Bag's nothing special. It's just a little bit of an upgrade from the GP5 bag. Side pocket. It's only got one side pocket this time around. Waist strap. Weird enamel type button. Could be metal. This has some stamps on the inside there. I don't read Cyrillic. So you have fun with that. Apparently I got a message at some point, so I hope it didn't vibrate loudly, because I didn't hear it. And good luck even storing one of these in the bag. Um, looking proper. I do not like having people working above me. I feel like it's going to come through the roof. So, there you go. Um, it's a cheap piece of shit. I paid, after packaging, after posting and packaging, £32. Don't be a schmuck like me. So yeah, that was a GP7. I hope you enjoyed it. It was not the GP7V. No voice, uh, no drinking to you. No, you did it twice. Um, it, it, it's a piece of crap, but it will save your life. Size 3 for large, it's the largest size. Size 1 for small.